Hi guys, today in this tutorial I'm going to teach you about uh, type into activity. The type into activity in your iPad allows uh, the robots to type uh, as, it, as, as it is. So uh, it allows you to type username, passwords, uh, beat, any, any form of input field. So you can uh, fill out forms using the type into activity. So we'll just dive into it uh, directly. So the first thing will be creating a new project. So you will create a new process. So you, once you click on it, the next thing it it it, it lets you name your application. So for us, it just write uh, type into. Uh, if you want to place in description, you can uh, just do it. Then it allows you, your iPad allows you either to base your robot on Visual Basic or C Sharp. So just go by the default uh, VB. So and you allow the, uh, the bot to, to process. So this is what we'll be doing today. Uh, I'll be logging into my account uh, in this site. So if you don't have an account on this site, you can always come and uh, create one. Uh, this this site was is given by UiPad, or rather was developed by UiPad to allow developers uh, to test their applications, uh, their bots, end-to-end uh, -end automation, basically to play around with uh, with UiPath. So basically, uh, we'll come and uh, type in my email and uh, my password, and uh, simply log in. So we want to automate this process, and uh, I think this is the first bit to understanding deeper what your iPad really is all about. So uh, as you can see, there are a lot of activities here. So we, we'll, uh, this the series of your iPad tutorials that we'll be doing will be based on uh, all of these activities. Everything here will will have a robot uh, based on everything here. We'll automate these uh, applications and uh, see how it goes. So that's it. So when you go back to your iPad, you can see it and create a new project. So just come here and click project. And uh, you can see already it will give us the main file. This main that uh, XML file, this is the main workflow file. So from here you can drop activities. So uh, the first activity we'll be dropping uh, will be sequence, the sequence activity. This is basically a container. Inside the sequence activity, uh, you can drop a number of other activities, but the order by which it will be executed is, is in a sequence format, uh, as, it, as the activity suggests. So, uh, uh, so this, this is what uh, the trick is now. When working with UiPath, the first thing you always have to do is integrate the UiPath plugin into your browser. So uh, first thing, let me log out of, out of this video. So the first thing, I want to uh, enable UiPath to work with Chrome. Since most browsers, you will need extensions, UiPath extensions. So that what you do, you always come to Home, then Tools. Then the next thing, since we'll be using Chrome, I'll just click this and it will automatically uh, do that. So it, uh, once you've done that, uh, you'll have to restart your browser, so I'll just uh, start my browser again. Now we are back, so I'll just type in again admin.test.com. Uh, so it just allow the application to load. So now uh, you can always come and check on your extensions. So if I come to my extensions, I can check, uh, I can look out for the UiPath web automation extension. And uh, if it is disabled, you can always disable or enable it. So it is better that you enable it. This al this extension allows you allows your iPad to communicate to your browser. So once that is done, uh, we'll just dive into our project. So we will drop a sequence. So the first activity when working with browsers, we will be using an open browser activity. So an open browser. So this allow this this allows your robot to open uh, a browser if the browser is closed. So uh, you, don't, you don't have to start the browser for the bot. The bot will just manage uh, the entire process from opening the browser, typing into the, 
typing into the input fields and so on and so on. So we'll just take this URL. So once you take this URL here, where the, it's supposed to insert a URL, you, ask, you will insert a string value. We'll come and discuss later about data types in your iPad, but uh, you can just place it directly the URL into quotes. And then uh, now when you've done that, uh, th but this far the application should be able to open the browser. And uh, you'll come to properties and select the kind of browser you'll be using. So we'll select Chrome. Uh, it's very important to select the browser type. But, uh, it, uh, it allows you to use a number of browsers. So you, you always have to be specific here. So once you've done that, the next thing inside this do, as you can see this icon is for the, it's a sequence, uh, icon for a sequence. So anything you place under here will be, uh, the, the robot will, deal with each activity in a sequence form uh, of operation. Uh, so the next thing we'll be using a type into activity. As it suggests, uh, the, the function of this activity is always, is always uh, to place, uh, to type uh, any characters into your input fields. So when using a uh, UI path, you always have to indicate where does the robot uh, perform its action. If it is a type of activity, where does do we type uh, the characters that will be say, giving the robots? So uh, in this indicate uh, element inside the browser, you just click it, then it will take you now to the browser. When it takes you to the browser, you select. So for us, we want to type uh, this input, email input. You just click it, and that's it. So once it, you can always come here and check out what it selected. If you don't like it, uh, you can come and indicate on screen. So I can just place it here. And you can edit and select that, it's okay. So just a showcase, we'll be doing with you. So I can just have it type my, my username so when I run this uh, robot this far, okay, so, uh, uh, sorry about that, so what I was discussing is that uh, when you are using this type into activity, the first thing you have done is we have indicated uh, our element on screen and when you type to edit the selector, you can see this is what we call a selector. Select allows you to identify elements to which the robot will be uh, doing performing its activity onto, uh, whether it's in the browser or uh, in your in, in your computer. So it was, you look, for every activity in the robot, you always have to use selectors. And this is more selectors are more of an advanced uh, stage when it comes to editing selectors. But we'll we'll come to that. But uh, for now, we just uh, this part is always handled by your iPad, unless. It, complex activities, which by then, uh, by the end of all our series, you'll be able, series of tutorials, you'll be able to, to capture more. So the next thing uh, will be to type in uh, the password. So I'll use another type into activity and I'll indicate the element on screen. And uh, as you can see, uh, I have selected that input file and I can tap my password here. So, uh, I'll just publicly, so that's it. I mean, this is not the recommended way of uh, doing passwords. I've, do, I've just done this for the purpose of learning. So once you have done this, uh, you are now good to go. And uh, one last thing we forgot is using the click button. The, we have to click that button, so we'll select another element. Yeah, so uh, that's it. Now we can even close this browser and see what uh, we have so far so good. So when I run this robot, so. Uh, so this will fail because as you can see it has typed already there was an auto field uh, inside and uh, 
it typed again. So to to avoid this kind of a scenario, what you do, you always come to the type it to activity, you come into properties, and down here you can say empty field and select it to true so that it, it empties the field before it types into. It. Now you can run again. Now perfect. Voila. So you can see we've been able to log in uh, using your iPad, and you can also check uh, on this video and review it. How did we do it? So first we add a type into activity for the username another type into activity for the password and we used a click activity to click the login button. So that's simple. That's basically a simple robot. And uh, uh, using the same logic, you can create a lot of robots because most of the data entry stuff will, will be using and utilizing the type into activity so much. There's another activity I would, I would introduce in data stage, which is the password uh, type, type secret uh, password activity so i mean uh, in that activity you'll be able now to type in credentials and as i've indicated this is a very wrong way of uh, typing or placing password into into your robot but uh, for the purpose of learning i saw it better that uh, you understand first uh, why how 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 does the robot work how does you how do you how does you pass the values uh, into the robot and now into the application. So that's it. It's simple. It's as simple as that. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed and uh, learned something uh, and the basics of your iPad. Uh, bye, guys.